a spot in the gold medal match up for grabs for the winner of this match here. Semifinal number one of our APP Vlasic Classic Delray Beach. And what fun is this? A little sibling rivalry to start off our semifinal action. Taking a look at Georgia Johnson and J.W. Johnson there on our foreground here of your screen. J Georgia in the red and J.W. in the green. Sibling rivalry. I hope, I hope they would. To each other. I, I hope they would be able to tell the difference between J.W. and Georgia. Not without, like, not like, without pointing out the colors. Hey, not like you and I squ screwed up the Newell brothers yesterday. Yeah, where I true. went up to Ben's brother yesterday, who is his identical twin, and I was like, Ben, how you doing, buddy? And he was like, I'm not Ben. I almost I told Ben that. that he's put on a little bit of weight, too. Wow. So here in action, we've got <laughs> Georgia and JW, and I want to ask you guys a more direct question here, which is when you are playing against somebody that you know so well, both on and off the court, like your sibling, what do you do to try and get the edge? Uh, you can go ahead with that one. Because <laughs> I, I mean, I, I think right now, I think with Georgia and JW, they're both so disciplined. If you asked me that question two years ago, it would have been a challenge to beat your brother, beat your sister. Now it's a game, and it's nameless, faceless on the other side yeah. of the net. So it doesn't matter who it is. They're going to stick to their game plan. So right now, the game plan is going to be Georgia to try and outdink cross court Millie Rain. But the issue is going to be is can Millie Rain speed up enough at Gabe Tardio to mm -hmm. force him into some awkward positions? Because Millie Rain's got a great speed up right now. We've seen it early here in 2024. And so that's my kind of X factor right there is the cross court with the women and with the ladies, with the girls. And what can Millie Rain do to speed up straight on against <laughs> Gabe Tardio. So like we said, Georgia Johnson, seven APP medals in 2024. She has been a mainstay there on the podium throughout the first few events of the year. She's playing with Gabe Tardio. The two of them won a bronze together in Miami, trying to upgrade that medal color here just a few miles north. They're already giving each other grief right now, our oh, Tardio I'm, and Johnson. So, yeah, you talked about Johnson and, <laughs> I mean, yeah. Talked about Johnson and Johnson going against each other. It's more, it's more Johnson than Tadio. Yes. <laughs> as far as it's an open season on who can hit the other one first. Nice spot there from Georgia Johnson, getting it low enough out of the swing path. Of JW. Taking a look here at oh, Millie Rain, who's playing with JW, women's doubles gold medalist, earlier this year. JW can't get that one over the net. And I want to go back, Dom, because when you interviewed Georgia and Gabe after they won their quarterfinals, two, two, Gabe just straight two. up told you what the game plan was. Oh, yeah, he's going to try and get in the hands battles with JW and. He's going to beat him on all those. I just don't <laughs> that, think that, that that's from the what game plan. We've seen that plan in the past. Not work. And it doesn't doesn't work as well as you think it does. ATP oh, there from there. Millie Rain. Just can't put enough shape on it. Forces them to their second serve. No look. Yeah, it was there. She had the angle, just didn't get good enough contact to really put that back into the court. All right, right now, all four of these players are, reach, are respecting each other's hands. Nobody's like fully tested it. But I'm watching Tadio as as Millie Rain is rolling cross court. Come oh on, Millie Ray. Would you Are stop you it? Are you serious right now? Unbelievable. JW, just get out of the hey, way. Hey, JW, you don't even need to be on the court. Yeah. Just let Millie do it all. Just get out of the way. 2-2-2, two, two, two. Two, 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 the score for Johnson's serve. 
Oh, oh that time. Okay, yeah. maybe he does need to be on <laughs> All right. Hey, that's a heat check right there, and I like it from Millie Rain. That's just good hands from Gabe Tardio reading that speed up in the middle. Puts his paddle in the right spot. Yeah, I think that's the situation on that last attack where she goes at Georgia because she's not able to create that same angle back behind Rain. So on to their second serve are Johnson and Tardio. Georgia throwing her paddle at Gabe. 3-2-2 three, two, two. <laughs> two, two, the score for Tardio. It looked easy right there, and it looked like nonchalant, but what he just did with that ball is incredible. The amount of power he gets on just a wrist flick. Testing of the hands comes in, okay. and it's Tardio who got the better end of that exchange. Okay, he's all smiles, too, up at the kitchen line right now. He loves it. But look what they created the space, and he finds the open area on the sideline right there. That's Tardio. Oh, JW just rushed that one, came over the top of it. Missed the opportunity there three, off the shorter three, return. Great placement there from JW right down the middle. Chad, I'm going to drop a name. Wrist flick. Three, three, two. And. Wait, you talking about McGuire flicking it down the line? No. <laughs> <I'm joking>. Hold <laughs> on. <laughs> but that is true. Nice dig from Georgia. But talk about a guy, and we're going back a little ways here, Hendry Winarto. Oh, I mean, yeah, you're talking about right. ridiculous wrist flick with the badminton three, 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 background four. that Winato had. You could take a ball from anywhere and flick it at you with pace, and that's where the game has kind of progressed even more from there. She kept moving back. There was an issue right there, and that's that's not an issue. She's trying to gain some ground so she can create better defensive opportunity there, but Tardio makes her pay. Oh, and that return from Johnson. Sailing long, so it'll be a lead here for Millie Rain as she gets ready to serve. Spot from JW. He's laughing about it. <laughs> I mean, that's you want to talk about accuracy. Tadio goes back. Johnson knows exactly where he's going to put the ball. Doesn't deviate from the line. Just a straight line through contact. That's just so good by Georgia getting on top of that. She gets that down. We talk about that all the time, the speed-ups. If you can get, uh, you can have that firefight all you want, but who wins those firefights is who can get the ball down below the kneecaps first. Three, five, one. This will be a side out here, Tardio with the serve. Time Johnson keeping the pressure on Millie Rain gets them the point. Well, and that's a tough change of direction there for Rain as well. One, because she didn't drop back enough and give herself enough space. 
But two, it was. It almost felt like it was unnecessary right there. That time Johnson getting big, two-handed backhand down the line to tie us up. Now they look at that. Nothing her brother can do about that one. That time Rain placing it well behind Johnson, tries to take it out of the air. Can't get it back over. Five, five, two. Five, five, two, the score for Johnson's serve. Tardio, line drive into the net. So it'll be a side out. We're just inching along here in this game. Five, five, one. That's a good spot right there from Tardio, just out of the reach of J.W. Johnson. He knows he's gonna come over and try and poach that ball. So a scoreless side out. Georgia and George and Tardio. With an opportunity here to take the lead. Georgia just can't get her paddle on top of that one. Well, that's a good job right there from Millie Rain moving the ball inside and out. And she'd like she didn't do Chad the, a couple points ago where she got jammed up trying to reset down the line. She creates some space, much better ball. Oh, JW got caught watching right there. There's a good speed up by Rain. That's cross body, but Tadio's hands five, all two. over it as well. Oh, that time Georgia shapes the around the post perfectly. Brother can only watch that one go down the line. Yeah, JW just lets this go because there's no chance of him doing anything with it, and he's basically hoping it goes out. And then into the net, and so. It will be JW with an opportunity to exact some array of revenge. Another look at this around the post. Oh, beautifully shaped there. The Ernie from Tardio into the net. Hard part right there is he was almost in the middle trying to jump the kitchen right there. So it's 6 7 1 for JW serve. Just out. I'd like to see Melly Rain kind of tie Tadio up a little bit more. Go inside the shoulders just a little bit. Gave him a little too much room to get extended on some of those balls. And so, Dom, you mentioned that we were pushing along. It's like these two will not leave, let the other team out of their sights. Another tie here in game one. Wow. That time, JW got the better of the sibling. The first back ball, and forth. the forehand in the middle, one to get to it, two to control it. Oh, wow. <laughs> JW is the probably the player that talks to himself the most Seven, eight, after, eight, he, after he misses a ball. He doesn't talk to anybody else. <laughs> Oh, just misses that reset, but you're right, Chad. He, he says some of the funniest stuff to himself when you like read his lips when he's going back. I like that. Who's that guy online? A John Boy Media. Have him read lips. Too bad, bad lip reading. <laughs> yeah, there's a bad lip reading on JW. One from might Millie Rain called out. Challenge from Rain by Tardio. I might as well right here. 
Gonna get a challenge for you. Might as well. I mean, you're at 8-8. Eight, eight. Yeah. So a challenge gonna be called here on the court. Had a few of these today. A new rule here on the APP Tour in 2024. You can challenge a ball when it is the ball that ends the point. So because Tardio called that one out, Millie Rain with an opportunity to get another look at it from our officials. We'll be close. Head referee Larry, Sco Larry Scott. <laughs> Larry Scott. Larry <laughs> Scott. Oh, That's that not. one looks like it's pretty close. Video referee Jack Feinberg. Going to have a tough, tough call here on that one. Great job by our production crew getting these cameras set up so we have a perfect look at this one. And I think it's pretty that close. one's going to be called in. Going to go out on a limb. I've been wrong plenty of times. Been wrong before. I'll be wrong again. Either way, though, like we've mentioned, if you've been with us for much of the day here on Friday, sometimes these challenges, not just serving as a great opportunity to potentially get a point back or get a replay, but an opportunity to also take a second reset here in a really critical part of this match. Yeah, absolutely. And that's what I said. I mean, you're at 8-8 eight, eight right now. It's not a bad call to uh, to go for a challenge right now. You're, it's probably a situation where it's a good time for a timeout anyway. So, yeah, I was going to say that I got a better shot of calling a ball in and out, in or out, yeah. a higher percentage yeah. than I am being right at home. I agree with you 100%. Because I'm at least 50 50 here. Right. You got a shot here. <laughs> at home, you got no shot. After video review, call stands. What? We'll proceed. Uh, hey, 981. You're wrong. Gibbs, I, was, I guess I was wrong. Serving two challenges left. So you just heard our head referee yep. tell Do Millie it. Rain and J.W. Johnson that they have two challenges left. What that actually means is they have two more challenges to lose left. So they I'm can in. call as many challenges as they want, but they can only be Correct. wrong three times. And if they do end up calling for three challenges that are wrong, then they're assessed a technical warning, and then it progresses from Test. there. Test. So right now Test. we're having some mic issues with our Test. head referee. There we go. Got the headset working again. Larry Scott's mic is back on. Nine, eight, one. So the score is 9-8-1. Gabriel Tardio, Tardio with the serve. JW was ready for the around the post from Georgia, but well, and way, way to also, stay in that point. Also, Gabe Tardio is ready for the speed up from Millie Rain right now. So he's sitting on it. He's a little more prepared. Well, I think Rain didn't need to come back as much middle as she did right there. That time backhand Can flick there? right at the oh. feet between Johnson and Tardio. My goodness. So game point Yes, defended. his backhand flick is hotter than your forehand attack. <laughs> As yours, <laughs> too. Debate. Mm, Maybe. P pretty close, actually. Second game point <laughs> opportunity. Wow. Sheesh. Well hey, defended. And again, I hit down that point I of contention. singles and doubles and stole bases. Me hitting the ball what hard. Happened, what, was happened me, to, what happened to the speed then? Me, me hitting the ball a long time ago. <laughs> Side out here. Rain with the serve opportunity to get back point or two. Nice speed up there from Tardio and Johnson coming over to make sure her partner stays out of the kitchen line. She did that a week and a half ago in Miami, too. She caught grabbed him, actually. Him. Grabbed him and threw him out. <laughs> That's that what you call having your partners back. The side outs that JW and Millie wanted right there. 
So scoreless side out, and now a third game point opportunity here. Georgia Johnson with the serve. And just a really consistent game play from Johnson and Tardio to get them game one here in our mixed doubles semifinal. Number one, halfway there to making their way to a gold medal match here at the APP Blasted Classic Delray Beach. Game two when we return. Introducing Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the APP Tour. They're ultra lightweight and responsive for incredible speed. They have Goodyear rubber outsoles with a specialized pickleball design for increased side-to-side -side stability and agility. Plus, they feature shock-absorbing foam and Skechers' famous relaxed fit design for incredible comfort game after game. Conquer the court in comfort. Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the APP Tour. A typical insurance? You're just another senior. That is the third health insurance commercial with seniors at a farmer's market. Right? Don't get me wrong, I love a fresh heirloom, but it's like those companies think we're all the same. That's why I chose Humana. Before I signed up, I spoke to someone who actually listened to what I needed. She told me about benefits that were right for me, like vision and dental, all in my budget. I finally feel in control. What are you doing? Taking control. <laughs> Humana, a more human way to health care. Game number two of our mixed doubles semifinal coming your way and plenty of people filling in here on championship court, staying out of the sun. Beautiful day here in Florida. Millie Rain and her partner J.W. Johnson drop game one to J.W. sister Georgia and her partner Gabriel Tardio. Chance to rewrite maybe, that here. Maybe it's Georgia's brother J.W. You know, you just, you know, right, she's, exactly. she's the one that's it's got Georgia's the right she got the now. She's you know, you're not Georgia's wrong. brother, yeah. JW's living in her shadow right now. It's true. And here's the thing. A year ago, this would have been like, whoa. Now, <laughs> Georgia so and Gabe winning right now against them, they're playing just as well as anybody. Had to adjust off of that one. Not only was Tadio moving to the left, tried to clear that forehand, then kicked up a little bit two, higher. Two, two. So double adjustment there. And a quick three nothing lead here for Rain and Johnson. Three zero two. Three, zero, two. Oh, tried twice. <laughs> he he free screened her twice. Somehow she got the first one back. The second one was a little tougher. Three, three, uh, that's a very good ball there behind Millie Rain. Tough for her to try to take that one cross court. Better off going. Back between the feet of Tadio or even left foot of Georgia. Full on attack right there from Georgia Johnson. She's not going to miss that one very often. She got what she wanted there. So one point for Johnson and Gabriel Tardio. But it is 
Quickly back to the side of JW and Millie Ray. 3 1 1. She was going for the cross court dink there. Leaves it a little bit short. Three, three one, two. two. So three, one, two. Nice spot there from Tardio. And again, we didn't even mention it in game one. The wrist flicks and control from Gabe Tardio. Yeah. It's gotten so much better, so much more control with it. And from kind of a very different grip. We'll talk about that in a second. He chokes up on the paddle so much too, but doesn't use anything like, he doesn't use like a, a Eastern, right? He's more yeah. continental and chokes way up on the paddle. I was diving in front. It hit the camera. Dang it. We were all very ready for that ball. That you weren't getting there. That was going to be an E1. You weren't getting there. That was going to be. When you missed it, I had it. <laughs> it was going to be an E1. All right, back to the action. That was our excitement in the booth right there. <laughs> we almost had a ball in the booth. <laughs> Another oh. look. Right, right off, off the camera. back of the camera, man. We're all over that. ball just a little wide so it'll be a side out here but not before Johnson and Tardio get the lead back their first of the second game short-lived this is another back and forth battle saw a lot of that in game number one game two starting very similar Tadio just stood up through the middle of that shot, saw the paddle face open, become extremely flat, doesn't get enough push through, all the lift and elevation needed. It was in between. She didn't know if she wanted to flip that back up and over the net, go around the post, or speed up right at Gabe Tardio. 5 4 2 for rain serve. That time. Rain just with the flat paddle. Couldn't get enough pushback on it, so it's a side out. Oh, there we go. Oh. Tadio testing Johnson's hands. Said he would. I step in, gets him right back on the right hip. Johnson missing that one just a little wide. So on to their second serve. Gabe Tardio with it. So they managed to tie things up, but no more than that. <laughs> I mean, excellent drive there from JW. Good step in from Millie Rain. Audio just stands there, nice and calm. Quick little flick back. Says, not, not going to get it past me. Oh, oh the nice. Ernie and I'll finish it with an Ernie. Yeah, beautifully done right there on the backhand, Ernie. Now they look at it. Just floated a little bit. Took his time. Perfect timing. Wow, nice flip down the middle from Gabe Tardio. A good lean in. That's an easy ball to miss and over hit. 
six bag one for a tardio serve. Tadio telling himself, don't do it right there. Just tried to rush that cross court again. It's happened a couple of times where he's thinking about covering middle and he starts moving back middle before executing the shot, so ends up rushing through the finish. Easy unforced error right there from Millie Rain. Extends the lead to two. So a side out there after the forehand into the net. It may not be the biggest lead in the world, but it is the largest one that Johnson and Tardio have had in this second game. So Rain and Johnson now with a chance to cut into it, but that left short from Rain. So on to their second serve. Five, seven, two. Five, seven, two for Rain serve. Tati is seeing the ball extremely well right now. He's reading Millie Rain's paddle when she's going to speed up, anticipating the exact position, and he's not overhitting because it's very easy to overhit once you've anticipated. And so a timeout called here on the court by Johnson and Rain, trailing by two in this second game. They dropped game one, 11-8. And here in our mixed doubles semifinal number one, it is Georgia Johnson and Gabe Tardio sitting four points away from punching their ticket to championship Sunday. Well, like you're saying, Chad, Gabe Tardio just seeing the ball really well. It's a beach ball to him right now. Anything he's touching right now is turning to gold. And they're about to move on to the gold medal match, but a great job from Tardio. Good adjustments, playing super well. I like it. I like seeing it. But like we said, if you would have had this, you know, matchup a year ago, this would be a huge upset. Right now, I don't see this as an upset. I just see it as a pretty evenly matched game. But right now, it's all Tardio and Georgia Johnson. And it's in control of every point. So coming out of this timeout, what is the first thing that you do if you are Johnson and Rain well, to get some momentum? I mean, back? first, thing, Rain has to pick her spots better as far as when she's going to speed up. And, you know, it's either going to have to be behind Tadio once he's drawn to the middle or just put a little bit of pressure on with the cross-court thinking with Georgia a little bit, give JW a chance to step in. That time, Rain with a great <laughs> angle she, she's on yelling, that. She's yelling at herself, going, Georgia, you did all that work and then that. And it was there. The angle was there. She's got to whip that back a little more and get a little more top spin on it. 7-5-2 for Johnson serve. A long return from Rain and unforced error there. Extends the lead for Johnson and Tardio. point by Millie Rain just staying in it keeping the pressure dinks on alternating between Tardio and Johnson we're finally getting Johnson to speed up into a mistake there a nice reach in right there from Gabe Tardio getting that ball down at the shins of Millie Rain we're trying to slow that momentum Johnson hit that one from a tippy toes. Got on top of it a little too much. So they get one back, do Rain and Johnson, but now George Johnson with the ball, serve, and a chance to extend it. 
Great hands there, JW with the quick speed up. Yeah, good step in, a good spot there from JW. Doesn't try to do too much with it, just gets on top of it. Down toward the feet of Gabe Tardio. What a little Ernie there from Gabe Tardio. When, when you can cross up J.W. Johnson, you've done a good job right there, and that's exactly what Tardio did. Well, if, if he doesn't Ernie it, though, he's not going to be able to get that quick of an angle. Oh, no. So chipping away are each of these teams at their respective scores. Trying to keep the other one off of going on a run this late in game two. JW finally putting an end to that point with a harsh angle. That's a practice. For the that's a practice point right there, where it's just everything's coming back. Throw up a lob, go back and get that one. Throw up a lob against the other team, go back and get that one. Sure, he's in the right spot. Georgia wow. ready for the ATP from her brother. Yeah, great defense right there from Georgia. She sets the angle perfectly, cuts it off, and then is ready for the next ball. Oh. And cut Still moving. transition a little bit. Yeah, Georgia Court still moving that. And it's hard to decelerate or to stop once that ball's at the feet and try to keep a firm grip on the paddle and firm wrist. All rain again in between decisions right there. What you want to do with that ball. So that indecision leads to a match point opportunity here for George Johnson and Gabriel Tardio. Johnson leaving no doubt right down the middle. Her brother's paddle can't get that ball back over the net. So it is Johnson and Tardio who have become our first team to punch their ticket to Championship Sunday in mixed doubles here at the APP Classic Classic Delray Beach. We'll be right back. Unless it's less beer. Cut tire. Nothing brings us together like Eggland's best eggs. We love the taste, always so fresh and delicious, plus superior nutrition. For us, it's eggs any style, as long as they're the best. Eggland's best.
And it's JW, well, sorry, it's Georgia Johnson and Gabe Tadio. First team punching their way through to Championship Sunday in mixed doubles. And we're going to throw it down to Dominic Catalano, who's courtside with our Franklin post-match interview. Gabe, you're playing against two players that you practice with and train with. What's the difference that puts you over the top when you're playing against players that you're very familiar with? Yeah, I mean, shoot, I don't know. I mean, it was a tight match. You know, we both know our, uh, each other's game. So it's for sure, for sure tough. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, I think uh, we were a little more steady than they were. Uh, and we wanted it more than they did. So I think that's what happened. And then, Georgia, we were talking on live stream two years ago about this would have been a huge upset, right? You were just starting to come into your own. Now you are into your own. And going against your brother, J.W. Johnson, coming out on top, what's that mean to you? Uh, you know, obviously, you know, I love those two on the other side of the court. And uh, I was just really thankful that we were all here to play for, for a medal today. And uh, that's a match that can go either way on a different day. And I'm um, just happy to come out on top. No more bronze. Was that? Finally, no more bronze. I think the last three tournaments me and Georgia played together, we had, we had bronze. So it's good to change the color a little bit. Yeah, change the color of the medal, you will. You guys are moving on to Championship Sunday. One more match here on Championship Court is our second semifinal here at the APP Vlasic Classic in Delray Beach.